What's going on, everybody? So today we have a lot to talk about. Got to go over all the different events that I've been doing. I've done some massive account improvement as well as a different strategy going forward. And this applies to all new players or so anyone that hasn't really gotten their Arbiter yet. Uh, I want to give you guys a few tips. This video idea or at least the topic of that came about from a comment, which I'll address in just a second because they made it an absolute amazing point. And since it's been about a year and a half, um, or maybe two years since I got my Arbiter, it's, you know, it completely slipped my mind. So let's just jump into the events here. We have the Dungeon Divers event still going on, as well as the Artifact Enhancement event that just popped. This is great. I'm super excited for this. The Artifact Enhancement event, um, I don't know if I have the silver, but if I do, I would love to get 6,500 points um, between the gear upgrading and the, you know, all that good stuff that I have and the silver then potentially I can make 6,500 points. I don't know if I can. I'll definitely probably get about 2,000 uh, to get the Mortal Soul Stone. But even, you know, level 16 five-star pieces, that's 270. I would have to do like 20 pieces of 16. I don't know if I can even do that. Um, and I don't even know if I have pieces that I want to do that for. So this, that event's actually quite tough. Dungeon Diver is still going on. I'm going to get the Epic Book, and then I'm going to stop farming Dragon. Um, actually, you know, I might transition over to farming campaign now because i farmed an absolute buttload of dragon let me just show you guys the dragon tournament um i'm at 5749 points which is first place six set six star epic relentless pieces i would like to keep that um sort of level so if someone starts to pull a little bit further ahead i might start farming dragon a little bit more um but uh i'm really excited about that we got first place so far because i farmed a lot a lot of dragon i'll show you guys my energy pool in just a second the champ training event is still going on or the champ training tournament i don't even know if i'm able to get first place second place or third place that's going to be kind of difficult now because i've invested so much energy in the other areas of the game um but you know I, i'm gonna try to go for it we're gonna see 6500 points is doable and i would like to pick up that one epic book but after that i might you know just chill out after um, I get that epic book. So that's for events. I'm going to continue onwards. But due to those events, guys, I just want to show you. I want to go through some of the gear. You can see all these gear pieces that are new, um, that are unupgraded, are all pieces that I got from Dragon. And I sell as I go because I am a huge, huge proponent of having a cleaner inventory. Um, so if there's something that I would roll, I'll keep it. If it's not something I'll roll, like it's a flat stat boot, flat stat glove, flat stat chest piece, or if it like is an accuracy or a speed piece um, with like HP defense, I'll sell it because it doesn't have speed on it. So I'm pretty harsh with my gear, even though I'm early on in the game. I mean, obviously, like I'm not super harsh with my gear. For example, let me just click on a piece here. This one has a speed roll. I kept it because life steal set might be important for clan boss um and uh you know that might be useful or like this piece look at this piece this is an absolute nutty piece crit rate crit damage speed Ooh, that's so good for like ethel i'd love to roll that one up this one's a crit damage attack percentage speed piece Ooh, another great attacker piece if i'm able to i'd love to put bellower into my life steal pieces um or just great attack pieces and then run them as my campaign farmer um that would be something that i would be interested in doing you know getting like seventh second early game campaign runs would be really nice especially for the champ training tournament you know that way i could burn my energy as quick as possible because right now my um my stage 10 3 or 12 3 here if i just go all over it's currently um i guess i can run a run just to show you guys here it's around that 30 second mark and can be even longer sometimes uh so i, I personally that's a lot of time to spend in 12.3 now typically if i were just to go and say guys this is pure efficiency um then i would not do this right because in reality if you don't need to save time then you're not getting any additional value for your account because of this, right? You can still farm 12.3, it just takes a little bit longer. But for me, um, because I'm you know, making all these videos, making all the content for you guys, I actually would like to save a little bit of time here and that will cut it in one fourth. I believe I could do it about seven seconds with Bellower if he's properly geared, maybe even quicker than that, I'm not quite sure. But uh, that would be something I'd be interested in doing because I've gotten a lot of really, really good pieces. But that would be like, okay, after I've changed up all my gear for all my other units, then I will go and, and fix up Bellower. So that is something to consider. 
But that's not even the main portion of this video, guys, um, even though we're five minutes in. The main portion I want to talk about is the Great Hall. So I'm changing up my strategy due to this person's comment here. Let me just pull up the uh, the video. So I made this video, um, Insane Rare Summon. That was when I got the Frozen Banshee. So excited by that, uh, or from that, by the way. Um, and this guy dropped a comment. By the way, you guys, I love, I love uh, seeing all your comments. So um, right here, they said, Great Hall. I'd highly recommend just smashing out a singular 1 to 10. Why? It'll be the one thing that holds you back most from getting an Arbiter. If you don't, it's really really sucks if you go ahead and spread uh out your points and i 100 percent agree um and then they also mentioned something about the clan boss team um getting an exploder which unfortunately that you know is kind of rng uh, assuming i don't uh, get something at least solid so something i'll have to look into but definitely definitely that great haul and uh just to give you guys an idea here i pulled up the hello hades website for the arbiter missions i'll leave this in the description down below if you guys want to check this out and go over it uh, but i was going through and i just wanted to review it first off these first the first and second stages nothing really to worry about the fuse just this year or, or just a car i'm again i don't really know how they want me to say that um is really the only thing you need to worry about so getting all those rares for it pretty simple everything else is, is really easy after that um i was looking through here and you know it's like you know getting an upgrade to level 60 stage 10 none of this is pretty none of this is like really tricky um okay continuing onwards you know just more campaign stages you know defeating champions in classic arena get four rank six champions pretty simple ascending champions farming nothing in the chapter three is really tricky except for relic keeper Rel relic keeper I, you're gonna want to fuse relic keeper and so um making sure that you have the resources to fuse relic keeper is important um relic keeper is going to require executioner templar um sorceress i believe yeah sorceress and then the justiciar that you fuse so these characters are from campaign very easy fusion annoying that you have to do it but regardless you have to do it then we move on to part four this is where it gets a little bit more tricky um they want to do a bunch of random stuff here this is like you know clear stage 14 then we have the great hall bonus to seven okay so this is the first bottleneck um great hall bonus to seven if i start farming now i will easily have enough points but that is something i have to consider okay mixing superior potions so a lot of you know farming in the uh, arcane keeps you know doing magic keep 10 times on auto it's kind of back uh, you you do this quest and then you're able to complete this one um and then we have tier six mastery for two champions which i've already done and then a little bit forward gold one in classic arena i'm already there so you know that is nice but great hall bonus to eight that's a tricky one that's a tricky one um and then we continue onwards none of this is pretty relatively difficult great hall bonus to nine that is a tricky one um ascend a void champion to six level of ascension this is important because i might keep my bellower from six ascensions and keep him at five to go ahead and complete this quest we will see about that um the this one in particular these set of four quests are, is something that you're going to want to consider because you're going to have to six star someone new if you ha don't have this done which you know might be a little while this might take like two months to actually get to this point um just in sheer amount of time spent so you know that that is something i have to consider i might just you know six star ascension all my kickers i have now because it's going to be a while before i get the great hall bonuses but then we have um tier six mastery for five champions i already have that done not a big deal um great hall bonus to 10. that is the big bottleneck this one and then dealing um 100 million damage to a demon lord in a single difficulty granted you could buy keys so that's not tr super tricky you could just use rubies um and then clear stage 17 and clear stage 20 of these specific dungeons on auto if it's like a 10 percent win rate i it's still probably recommended to do it so you can get your arbiter but i could already do 17 on dragon no issues 100 percent win rate stage 20 on dragons very very close if i book out all my uh ultimate death knight and i re-gear them i should have stage 20 on lockdown for dragon um the other dungeons are going to be a lot harder but i'm going to continue working on this guys the great hall bonus though if you do not focus on this then you definitely definitely will fall behind that one and having the characters to six star oftentimes um i found are the biggest bottlenecks when i did my missions i actually was able to clear stage 20 not really that difficult when i reached this point in terms of time but when i reached this point i need i already six starred a bunch of characters so it was like okay what character do i really want to six star just for this mission um and that's where it was like okay maybe i should keep like don't randomly build out a bunch of characters um focus 
really focus on your specific characters and then save the ones that you might want to build for factions or for i don't know doom tower later on when you get to those missions because then you can use those as like your side projects like i don't know like an armager is a perfect example although i might build them out for spider anyway so you know that might not be a perfect example but if i just hop back over to my account here and look in the vault you know someone like i don't know steel skull might be someone that i wait until that point to six star or um war maiden might be someone i six star just before factions um alika might be someone i six star you know who knows but that that is something to consider as you're getting closer to that time so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video i wanted to give you an update on the account and i appreciate that guy for dropping that comment because he's absolutely right um with the great hall bonuses these are the ones that take forever uh you know you, if you're spending if you just do the math real quick assuming a 80 percent win rate and you're getting um let's say you are in like gold gold two let's just say gold two yeah um which i think gold two is no difference you're getting two tickets per um you're getting uh, one token per hour, assuming you're being super efficient with the five from the quest, with the refill, um, you're getting 39 per day times two, that's 78 gold tokens. Um, and we're going to need, how many do we need? So we have 78 per day and we get, um, this could be a whole video, whole video. Uh, actually I might do a video on this 700 plus 800 plus 900 plus a thousand divided by 78. Yeah, so it's going to take me 43 days at the minimum to get this maxed out if I'm super efficient. Um, and actually, I, that's not even necessarily true because we have 3,400 times. We have to do an 80% win rate. Um, so 62.4. Yeah, so 54 days is more realistic for me because I don't actually win all my battles. So, uh, you know, we're looking at about... 54 months for 54 days to two months assuming i'm being perfectly efficient that's gonna be 54 days but i probably won't be uh because there are some days where you know i go to sleep at you know one time or, or another and uh you know i don't use all my tokens i do my best i refresh all day uh it, it is a lot a lot of grinding but just to give you guys an idea it's gonna take me roughly about two months to reach just maxing this out which is tricky the question is do i want to go for force or do i want to go for magic i think I think I want to go for magic because I have frozen Banshee now um, and then I have Duck and Aethel and then if I decide to build out any other magic characters then that would be good but Force is also a consideration because I have Drex, Ultimate Death Knight, and Kunoichi or Kunoichi I think it's the actual pronunciation um both are good I think I'm gonna go for for magic I probably will boost up the Force one to, to level six and then stop actually i'm gonna do that right now and then i'm gonna stop um because i do want that extra 10 accuracy that was kind of built into my plan right now but then i have to decide magic or force going forward uh so we'll have to see about that again it's gonna take me two months so you know <laughs> good luck to me but thanks for watching everyone hopefully you enjoyed if you did sub to the channel like the video drop a comment guys if you have any suggestions uh, i have played this game a lot but you know, it's been a while since I've played, you know, in the mid game to the end game. There might be something I'm forgetting, like the Arbiter missions um, or anything like that. Uh, so, you know, I appreciate any advice you guys might see me missing. It, if it comes to gear, my your characters are poorly geared. I know, I know, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. <laughs> That's why I did a bunch of dragons. So hopefully by next video, you guys should have a lot better gear or I should have a lot better gear for you guys um, on the account. So thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.